Hello and welcome to another RPA tutorial video. In this video, we are going to see how we can use validation rules within document automation. I have already created a couple of videos based on document automation. In case if you have not seen those videos, you can watch that video first and the link is available in the description section of this video. Before start, please support us by subscribing this channel in case if you have not subscribed yet. So let's start. So what is field rules and document rules and what is the use of these two options which is available in document automation. So field rules are basically used to apply condition to specific field available in your learning instance. So for example, you have a, a field name total amount and the total amount contain dollar along with the amount value. Now I want to replace that dollar with USD along with the amount. So this is the one type of rule which we can apply to a specific field called total amount. So similarly, the document rules are also associated with the field, but the condition will work for the value present within the document. So we will see both the scenarios in real time examples to understand in details. So let me take you to the automation anywhere and see how we can do this. So before that, let's see the PDF files which we are going to use today. So here in the first PDF, we have invoice number and other information available in the invoice number. Intentionally, I have kept this uh, OO value instead of 00. Okay, so similarly, we have this email ID which is missing here. And I want to perform something in case if the email ID is missing or if the invoice number contain O instead of zero. Okay, so with this example, we will understand how we can use these rules. And another thing which we are going to see is also, so here in the total amount, we can see the dollar amount is present, which I want to replace with the USD. So let's see how we can do both the things. In other PDF, we have this invoice number correctly and the email ID is also present. But here this dollar symbol is there which I want to replace with the USD. So let's do this. So if you have seen my previous video, we have created this uh, learning instance called invoice data extraction demo and we are going to use the same one. So first condition which we are going to put as a field level condition and that we are going to use with the invoice number. So, so whenever you think these rules needs to apply for a, for a particular field, you have to first select that field. Once you select the field in your right hand side, in the property section, we can see the field rule and the document rule. So you have to just come to the field rule and here you have to click here in the add rule. So once you click here, it will give you some options to select. So for our case, in case if the invoice number contained this O, so I want to replace that O with zero. So if you come here, so basically this is like a if condition only. You can see here if invoice number contain O, then I want to perform action as I want to do what do you want to do? Like you want to set the value, clear the value, or show the error, or show any warning or replace or what so in our case i just i just just want to replace with the zero okay so similarly if you click here we can see we have so many options available under this condition so equals to not equals to okay start with doesn't start with it's depending on your requirement for our case i'll use this content so this is the first rule which we have created in case if you have multiple rules or multiple conditions which you want to apply for a specific field so that can be also done so for that you have to just click here and you can put that condition so for this case i don't need i want only one condition okay now this is done now we need to apply our rules 
for a document label also so here i want to put a rule like in case if the email id is missing then i want to pass some message which will give in the output so let's see how that can be also done so in order to do this document rules so make like one thing you have to remember is document rule you can apply with any of the field okay and that will reflect to entire all the fields which is available here so for our case i am going to use this document rule here only let's click add rule and let's put that rule so here i am just going to use here it will ask you to select field where you want to apply so for our case i just want to apply this uh, rule for email column and i will put something if okay we'll put this if email is empty then i want to pass the value okay in the email field only and i will put set value as something like email id is missing okay so this is the small example just i have added for the document rules so it's depending on the requirements you can put whatever you want to apply so we have added field rule as well as the document rule now before that we need to apply rule for this total amount also so now if you see here when i click to any of the field so we can see this document rule is automatically available and it's showing here for total amount let's apply another rule so let's click on add rules so if total amount contain it's dollar amount then i want to replace with my bot will look for this and it will replace for usd so that's all we need to just click on the update and it will apply this rule to the learning instance so when we upload any documents now it will check this document rule as well as the field rule and after that only it will give you the output so let's see that also and i want to get the output here so let's click on the process document it will take some time and it will give you the output so let's see how it is going on so we can see one document got processed successfully and for another document it come to validation so let's see why it come to validation section here we have all the values available in the document the only thing is it is saying like the confidence for this particular field is 79% which is lower than threshold as we kept the default percentage of confidence is 80% so it is just giving us the warning so in that case we can just click on submit and it will download the data so this request also got completed now let's see the output so this is the first invoice where we have this invoice number which we kept as oo so this we can see it replaced with 00 and here in total amount we can see this instead of dollar symbol it replaced with the usd and another thing which we have added for the email id which was the document label validation rules so as the email id was missing for this particular document so the output which we have kept as email id is missing which is available here now 
Now let's see the second output. So in our second output, we can see everything is correct only apart from this total amount where USD and the dollar amount both are missing. So it seems like the bot is not able to extract the value from this one. So this is again comes under a training part which we need to train retrain and maybe we need to expand the area where bot is uh, selecting the total amount so basically here we need to just expand it little left or right so it can extract so the intention of this video to just show you and make you understand how we can apply this field label rules as well as the document level rules to manipulate our data in output so I hope this video is helpful and able to make you understand how we can utilize these two options which is available within document automation. In case if you have any question or query, you can post into the comment section of this video or you can send us your email to our email ID which is rpa.developers1 at gmail.com. So thank you so much for watching this video.